Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. I'm going to start with this. Some people in this space, you can explain things 50 million times to people and show them proof they still will be lost. Those kind of people should just hang it up and go on a CBDC, Universal Basic Income. Like I said before, the amount of ignorance in this space is mind-blowing. And it's hard to get other XRP holders to see the vision you have for XRP. I try to explain what I see day to day. I point out facts, X, you know, ripples opening up another on-demand liquidity corridor in this country, in that country. CBDCs are pop popping up all over the world as well. I show you all the growth that happened for Ripple during this entire bear market. Yet there's people out there that still believe, based on previous cycles and market cap, XRP is only going to $10 to $13. I mean, are you kidding me? Look what's going on in the world right now. XRP is going to hit some high prices in the future. The good thing is, the same people that base things on previous cycles and market cap, at least they're still holding XRP. At least maybe they'll still get to that life-changing money of the future. So if Sam Bankman fried seeks access to his $450 million in Robinhood shares for legal fees. Just then, FTX customers request access to their user funds for living fees. And that's what it comes down to. You know, this guy wants to access his $450 million. What about the people who lost everything? The retail investors who went to zero, probably left crypto, will never come back. Some of them might even end up homeless. But this guy's worried about him, his legal fees. Are you kidding me? And that's how rich people think. You know, early on in crypto, when I first got into crypto, I seen rich people on YouTube unveiling Lambos, pushing this coin and that coin. I invested in some of them and I lost money. But you know what? At the end of the day, they were still rich. They could care less about the people they hurt along the way. That's, wh that's why I'm always telling you, once you cash out your XRP, take a deep breath. Take a step back. Don't change the person you are now. Don't let money change you. As I point out to Judge Torres in our amicus brief, XRP is already the first regulated cryptocurrency in the U.S. when considering the 2015 FinCEN D Department of Justice settlement. Below is probably why Brad Garlinghouse has repeatedly corrected the media when they say there is no regulation. XRP will be the first regulated cryptocurrency in the U.S. Not only did Ripple have to register as an MSB, but had to register XRP sales with FinCEN and the Department of Justice, not the SEC. Ripple had to select a third-party auditor approved by FinCEN and the Department of Justice to submit audits of XRP sales for five years. So XRP already was regulated inside the U.S. by the Department of Justice and FinCEN. And yet, they're still tied up with the SEC today. China strives to prevent XRP adoption in the U.S., Reaper Financial CEO claims. So he says, Riley tweeted that China had been manipulating Bitcoin for years and did not sick its dogs on the leading crypto, even though it has been banned crypt banning crypto trading and mining in the country. What China wanted, indeed, he believes, is not to allow XRP adoption in the U.S., since it keeps America from going under. In this regard, he stated that the SEC lawsuit against Ripple Labs is not just a court case, it's a war. I've said that many times on this channel. There's not going to be a World War III. The war is happening right now. It's a currency war that we're in. XRP is going to be the one thing that gives the U.S. the upper hand. This is huge. Over a dozen countries have now applied to join BRICS, including Algeria, Iran, and Argentina. The multipolar order is taking shape before us. If expanded, BRICS would comprise over half the global population, 60% of global gas, and 45% of global oil reserves. They are aligning against the U.S. dollar. That's why I said at some point the U.S. dollar is definitely going to start plummeting in value. 
Central bank digital currency CBDC is coming and the control and coercion will come with it. The UK is moving very fast. The US, I believe, is working behind the scenes with Ripple on our CBDC here in the US. What will a US central bank digital currency look like? Well, what they're trying to do is they're trying to push advantages and disadvantages. But you know, when they write these things, they never explain the real disadvantage to the people. It's the one system that will enslave all of us at some point. If it's ran by evil, corrupt people, such as the World Economic Forum, people like George Soros and the Bill Gates of the world. But a CBDC could be used for good. It could make money transfers very fast, very cheap in the future, in the right hands. ECB officials urges CBDC development for the good of cryptocurrency and consumers. One thing I want to point out in this is this. Having established the necess necessity of regulation, Panetta suggests that the European Union's markets and cryptocurrency assets legislation was an important step, but insufficient in regard to crypto asset lending or non-custodial wallet services. In addition, unbacked cryptos should be taxed in accordance with the cost they impose on society, Panetta said his solution. Trading in unbacked digital assets should be treated by regulators like gambling. That treatment would include both taxation and measures to protect vulnerable customers. So if your cryptocurrency in the future isn't backed by anything, it would be considered gambling and taxes would be put on those cryptocurrencies. That's what they're pushing over in the EU. Now, I want to talk a little bit about what David Schwartz said here, because uh, there was some FUD going around Twitter today saying that at any moment, Ripple could freeze your XRP. So this goes back to 2021. Given the increasing popularity of issued assets on the XRP ledger and the various airdrops going on, it's probably a good idea to remind people that the XRP ledger permits issuers to freeze assets that they issue. So does that mean that they can freeze your XRP? No. I'll get to that in a moment. If you choose to hold an asset that someone has issued, unless they have disabled this feature, they can prevent you from transferring the asset other than destroying it. They can also unfreeze after they freeze it. This is a powerful feature that permits the XRP ledger to be used to represent and transfer legal obligations. Legal obligations can be frozen by actions outside the ledger, such as a court order, and the ledger needs some way to represent those external actions. But before you think of an issued asset as behaving like a cryptocurrency, make sure you've checked whether or not the issuer has disabled freezing. If they haven't disabled it, their issued asset isn't like cryptocurrencies. Nobody issued XRP, so XRP can never be frozen on the XRP ledger. But all assets other than XRP are issued, and their issuers can freeze them unless they've inevitably given up that right. So you got to look at other assets that are going to be on the XRP ledger. Make sure they're not assets that can be frozen at some point, especially if you're going to invest in certain assets. If there's a project that's not being forthcoming and honest about this, please call them out and ask them to give up their ability to freeze it if it seems this was just an oversight on their part. Also, an issuer can abandon an asset entirely, preventing anyone from using it. This can be done temporarily or permanently. Currently, the only way to give up this ability is to abandon the issuing account by setting its regular key to zero and disabling its master key. So we're probably going to see a lot of growth as far as the XRP ledger in the year of 2023. But make sure the assets that you invest in on there cannot be frozen in the future. And XRP cannot be frozen, period. Black hole tokens can't be frozen. XRP can't be frozen. CBDCs can't be black hole because CBDCs will increase and decrease. The freeze function is important, so banks have the ability to freeze criminals. So CBDCs can be frozen on the XRP ledger.
Amazing that so many people can't understand the use case of XRP, but if XRP has reached over $30, then you don't hear them anymore. Let it sink in. 2023 will be the year of Ripple. I feel the same way. I think 2023 is going to be amazing for crypto in general, but especially for XRP holders. And anyone that's fudding right now will no longer be fudding once XRP hits those high prices. But I can't wait to do FOMO videos for all of you when euphoric times come. Because that's what we're all holding for. You know, the day we invested in XRP, we had a vision for us getting financially free. Hopefully 2023 is the year we get financially free. I see people say all the time, I don't want to hear it anymore, that we're getting close. And I don't like to say that anymore either because I've been saying it for quite a while now. Instead, I'm going to leave you with this. 2023 looks very good. We're going to see big things happen, in my opinion. Just be patient and wait it out. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.